Hello, my name is Dr. Saglius van Diariefaard, and I am a second year fellow at the University of Maryland Greenbaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. I was raised in California and did my training in various cities along the East Coast, but the city of Baltimore was new to me when I came to do my fellowship here. I have to say that I have been pleasantly surprised with my experience here. Baltimore as a city is such a great place with so many different things to offer. It is on a waterfront, uh, which we call the Inner Harbor, which is a great place to live but also to hang out. Uh, Baltimore also has all different kinds of neighborhoods, with each with its own unique uh, style and offerings, and there is truly something for everybody here in the city. Looking back on my experience as a first year fellow here, I would definitely have to say that it has been one of the most rewarding, um, challenging, but one of the most rewarding uh, years of my education thus far. It is mainly comprised of core rotations in hematology and oncology consultation, as well as uh, leukemia service, uh, an inpatient service, and the bone marrow transplant inpatient service. I would say that as a first year fellow in hematology oncology, the transition from internal medicine residency to the fellowship can be difficult because the learning curve is definitely large. And wherever you go as a fellow, you want to know that you're going to be supported there. And looking back on my first year, I honestly can say that I felt supported the entire time. If I ever had any concerns about patient care, a consult, um, a procedure that I needed help with, anything at all, whether personal or professional, there was always someone here, whether it was a co-fellow, an attending, or administrative staff uh, to help me with whatever I needed. And that took away so much of the stress that I had initially come in with. Um, looking back, this has truly been uh, not only an educational and rewarding year, uh, but it's also been so much fun. And I am so happy that I'm a fellow here. Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Manuel. I'm an Associate Program Director at the University of Maryland Greenbaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. Uh, I am also the Section Chief of Hematology Oncology at the Baltimore VA Medical Center. So I, I get to see our fellows participate in, in uh, both hospitals. We are, I think, quite unique in the local and regional area in that we have uh, a relationship and an affiliation with the Baltimore VA Medical Center, and that enables our fellows to have significant relationships and uh, interactions with the patients of a, a fairly unique population. Uh, the, the VA Medical Center is positioned physically uh, with attachment to the University of Maryland, so uh, it's relatively easy access for our fellows to go back and forth uh, to, to meet their patients and consult with them. Uh, also, though, a majority of our faculty members at the Cancer Center and among other subspecialties are uh, carry affiliations with the, the VA Medical Center. So our fellows have significant interactions with a variety of oncology subspecialists and they have ready access to assistance and education as it involves the, the VA patients. Uh, the patients are uh, very challenging uh, in many ways uh, due to very often uh, social and economic issues uh, and access to care issues with these patients. Uh, very often they have many medical comorbidities and many challenges to delivering safe and, and effective and comprehensive oncologic and, and medical care. And uh, the role that our fellows play is a very important one. Uh, they take primary care of those patients and follow them longitudinally. And it's not unusual for a fellow to meet with a patient in their first year, uh, carry them through the, the first or second or even third line of chemotherapy, and uh, ultimately assist them as they recover from their cancer uh, to deal with potential short-term and potential long-term effects of the chemotherapy. And additionally, in, in the cases of some patients, to progress toward goals of care and, and end-of-life care. Uh, the majority of our patients have returned to us and, and uh, expressed extreme gratitude for the fellows. Uh, the majority of our fellows have come back to us and expressed that they really felt that they were becoming true oncologists uh, with their relationship with those patients. So it, it's a, a very special opportunity. So 
My name is Dr. Michael McCusker, and I am the Chief Fellow in Hematology and Medical Oncology at the University of Maryland Greenbaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. I am a Maryland and Baltimore native and explored several other programs prior to ultimately matching at the University of Maryland, and I am very thankful uh, for the education and training that I have received. There are several unique aspects to our program that really stand out for me. First, our program is adaptive and constantly evolving with the complex changes taking place in hematology and medical oncology. For example, we have instituted molecular tumor boards as part of our fellow education sessions uh, as personalized oncology is quickly becoming the new standard of care. Second, our program leadership really caters to the needs of each individual fellow through regular meetings and will work with the fellow to design their schedule to meet the needs of their career goals, whether it be more dedicated time for research or clinical work or even many fellowships in subspecialty care. Third, the patient population that we serve as a metropolitan tertiary referral center allows fellows the opportunity to see a range of hematologic and oncologic cases from common and very complex uh, cases, which entering into practice has made me feel confident that I will be able to treat a wide range of diseases. Um, fourth, being a National Comprehensive Cancer Center, fellows have the opportunity to participate in a number of meaningful research studies with outstanding faculty mentors, our fellows regularly publish in excellent journals and present at international and national conferences with outstanding fellowship support. And finally, our VA Continuity Clinic really prepares fellows well for independent practice. At the VA, the fellow is the primary oncologist with uh, specialty specific attending support. Um, here, the fellow manages all patient care from um, diagnosis to treatment, complications, and surveillance. It is a true continuity clinic in that there are several patients that I saw as a first-year fellow that I continue to treat now as a third-year fellow.